All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be watching Game of Thrones season seven. Season seven, episode seven. The season seven finale. The last episode seven of Game of Thrones. Because I'm pretty sure season eight only has six episodes. They... I feel like this is gonna be a pretty big episode. I feel like that. I feel like a lot has to happen in this one, you know. <sighs> I mean, I feel like last episode was the finale of the season for John and Daenerys and all of them and that storyline. Now I feel like we're in this episode we're gonna get the finale for the Sansa, the Arya, the Baelish, Cersei, Jaime that story those storylines for this episode this is the finale for those storylines i feel like honestly i feel like a good amount of characters might die in this like i i'm confident at least someone will die at least one person will die i don't know about multiple but it seems like for the season seven the second to last season finale they might just off a couple you know, because I feel like it's pretty impressive to make it to season eight. You know, I feel like that's a pretty big deal in Game of Thrones to make it to the very last season. So I'm nervous. I'm very nervous if I'm being honest. So, or maybe we could all just live happily ever after, you know, no, never. That's never an option in Game of Thrones, but all right, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon, as well early access to the first two episodes of season eight will also be available on Patreon. So let's get started. Oh, it's Grey Worm. Okay, he didn't actually die. How many barrels? 500, my lord. It's not enough. Get 500 more. <laughs> I still enjoy it when they call me my lord. <laughs> the thrill of fate. If we live that long. Yeah. You wouldn't find me fighting in an army if I had no cock. What's left to fight for? I spend my life around soldiers. What do you think they spend that gold on? Family. No. Not without a cock, you don't. Maybe it really is all cocks in the end. <laughs> Yet your brother has chosen to side with the cockless. Oh no, the Darth Rocky. <gasps> Oh, you guys are so fucked, Jamie. Dude, Jamie's about to get, like, fucking PTSD, bro. He's about to be like, oh, fuck this. We're surrendering. Darth Raki, I love watching him fight, dude. It's so satisfying. Uh, Jamie is obviously gonna stand his ground and stuff, but, like, he knows. He knows it's bad. Dude, I'm even fuck. I'm shocked that Theon's alive still. Like... Oh, god damn, we're actually already going to King's Landing. Oh no, it, it. Oh, okay, yeah. The show starts to this damn white. God damn. Including our brother. Yes, your grace. Jamie's already in King's Landing? What the fuck? If anything goes wrong, kill the silver haired bitch first. <sighs> then the bastard who calls himself king. Yeah, good dude. Who, who do you got? John or the mountain? Who do you got? One on one. Hey, we hey we know the mountain's beatable one on one if you don't get cocky. <laughs> so yeah, I don't trust. Yeah, of course, I I don't trust Cersei to not attack. Like she told him that just in case something happens, but like I I I don't trust her, dog. Fuck no, I don't. Oh, Bron, ah, Bron, and Tyrion, bro. Ah. That hurts to see them on like opposite sides. Oh. Welcome, my lord. Your friends arrived before you did. Mm -hmm. I've been sent to escort you all to the meeting. <laughs> so much. Oh my god, so much has happened. Don't even look at Big B. Pleasant oh. surprise in an unpleasant situation. Yeah. I thought I'd see you again, my lord. Hard to blame you. Cersei will anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're alive. Come on. Mm -hmm. His magic cock later. <laughs> Dude, I'll, okay, I would be honest. I told, okay, I didn't like forget, but I haven't thought about it in such a long time that Pod used to Fuck off. squire for a. Uh, 
the party Squire for Tyrion. I haven't thought about that in so long. Oh, don't. <laughs> How are you doing? She's alive. Are you? Where? Winterfell. Mm. Who's protecting her if you're here? That means protecting is the one that gets in her way. It won't be me. Yeah, he's like, fuck her, I'm done with her. He has a clean conscience now. I'm sure your new queen will be happy to restore yours if she ends up on the throne? Been thinking about our new queen? Perhaps you've been reconsidering your allegiances. <laughs> yeah, if we lose, I'll join her, sure. Don't you worry about me, I'm doing all right. Looking after yeah. myself. Are you? Helping me to arrange this meeting wasn't exactly looking after yourself, was it? You put yourself at risk. Bronn's trying to play off this breakup, like he's doing just fine. Now, thanks to me, she's got two traitor's heads coming right through her door. Puff, as soon as she gets tired of the clever words that pour out their piles. Thanks to Sabrona the fucking Blackwater. Good to see you again. Yeah. Yeah, you too. Aww. Besties forever. Anyone touches it? I'll kill you first. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and this is the Hound's first time back in King's Landing after he was like, fuck the king and fuck all, yeah. Oh god, what is this? Yeah, I have a strong feeling some shit's gonna go down. Like, there is, there is no fucking way this is gonna go peaceful at all. There is no way. Someone is gonna die. I don't know who, but somebody will. She will not be chill about this. She just can't help herself. Let's you and me go have a drink while the fancy folks talk, eh? Oh, yeah, that, that's code for let's get out of here when it all before it all goes down. Okay. Yeah, would it not? Look at John. He's like, I don't trust that at all. That's sus. Oh. Oh, Big B and the Hound versus the Mountain? Oh, my God. I got Big B and the Hound. Are you kidding me? Just thought of that. The, hound's get, the Mountain's getting waxed. Yep. Here she comes. Bro. Uh, okay, all I know too is this is gonna be a really good conversation, I feel like. This conversation, this dialogue is about to be so good. Uh, You're even fucking uglier than I am now. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's not how it ends for you, brother. You know who's coming for you. You've always known. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I just have a hard time believing Cersei would let us leave here alive, so... Where is she? Yeah, where's Daenerys? Where she? Oh, she's gonna pull- she's gonna pull up on a dragon. <gasps> yep. <laughs> she has to let them see the dragon. She has to make sure they all see it. You know, and also style points. Style points are important. Sucks, so we only got two now. <laughs> She gets off her dragon and she's like, yeah, you try and kill any of us, I'll, these dragons will burn this fucking city to the ground. Mm, oh, they're flying away. Okay. Nah, I'd have those dragons just chill up there just so Cersei can look at it anytime, you know? Remind Cersei of what we have. Because, you know, this conversation will get heated. We've been here for some time. <laughs> My apologies. Bro, we, we were here for like two minutes. Chill. <laughs> we're all facing a unique... Leon! I have your sister. Shut the fuck up. I'll kill her. Shut the fuck up. We weren't talking to you. You are the smallest concern here. Oh my god. He's the reason why we're all about to start fucking Remember fighting. Remember when we discussed dwarf jokes? These wasn't even good. <laughs> Bro, go stick. Perhaps you ought to Look. sit down. Yeah, tell him, Jamie. Tell him to go stand down, in the corner. Leave. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Cersei. Thank you. Damn, you're just you're being an ass right now. Go stand in the corner. Don't talk, don't speak unless you're spoken to. We are a group of people who do not like one another. Demonstration has shown each other without meeting face to face. So instead live together in harmony for the rest of our days. You all know that will never happen. Then why yeah. are we here? Because of this. And then mic drop and just drop a nuke on her. It's just about living. The thing is coming for all of us. A general you can't negotiate with. An army that mm. doesn't leave corpses behind on the battlefield. Tyrion tells me a million people live in this. They're about to become a million more soldiers in the army of the day. I imagine for most of them it would be an improvement. Take this seriously. This is serious. Mm-hmm. I think it's another bad joke. 
Oh my god. <laughs> alright, alright. Show her the show her the white. Drop this fucking nuke on her. Or while you solidify and expand your position, hard for me to know which it is, with my armies pulled back. Yeah. March on my capital with four times the men. Yeah. Safe. Until the northern threat is dealt with. I mean, that's so hard for Cersei to. That's so hard for Cersei to believe. I I get that. We have something to show you. What are you gonna? I mean, is it dead? Don't tell me it's not gonna do anything now. No. No. Kick the box. Wake his ass up. Yep. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Bro, it's not chained up? Okay, it is, it is. Bro, why would you even let it get that close to Cersei? Shit. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. I thought about that, like, bro, it was just, it's literally, was it, it was literally just gonna start attacking someone. Like, trying to get after anyone as soon as you let it out. But I mean, it's chained up, but that, <laughs> still this far away from Cersei. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, she can see it. This is great proof. Like, yeah, even it being cut in half and still alive, that's it's perfect. Oh, he's thinking about what he could do with that. Thank you, Devos. And we can destroy them with dragon glass. Then that is the fate of every person in the world. There is only one war that matters. The Great War. Yes. And it is here. Yes. I didn't believe it until I saw them. I saw them all. How many? Hundred thousand at least. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. What's, what's, what's this dickhead gonna say? Oh, he's like, let me see this shit. Can they swim? No. No. Thankfully. <laughs> we... Oh, yeah, he'll, he'll be chilling on his I'm boat. I'm taking the Iron Feet back to the Iron Islands. Oh! Oh! I've been around the world. I've seen everything, things you couldn't imagine. And this, this is the only thing I've ever seen that terrifies me. Oh, what a bitch. He's divin. All right, see ya. <laughs> I'm going back to my island. When winter's over, we'll be the only ones left alive. No, they'll get you too, dog. I mean, no, actually, no. They're on different islands. So how could they ever travel, I guess? That, that makes sense. What a bitch. What a bitch. He's right to be afraid. I guess. A coward to run. Yes, exactly. And for us, there'll be no kingdoms to rule. Mmm. Suffered will have been for nothing. Mmm. Mmm. The crown accepts your truce. Okay, okay. Nah. They are the true enemy. Nah, she doesn't mean this shit. She's just saying it to get them to. So they let their guard down for now, and then she's gonna pounce on them. He will remain in the north where he belongs. He will not mm. take up arms against the Lannisters. He will not choose sides. Ooh. I would never ask it of you. You would never agree to it, and if you did, I would trust you even less than I do now. I know Ned Stark's son will be true to his word. Fuck. Fuck. He does. He has the honor gene, just like Ned. Wait, what do you do, John? What do you do? I mean, in order to defeat the Night King. True to my word. I, but, so I, or I'm so I'm choosing Daenerys. Cause I already gave her my word. That's why I cannot give you what you ask. I cannot serve two queens. Mm -hmm. And I've already pledged myself to Queen Daenerys of House Targaryen. That's tough. Damn, Daenerys is like, damn, this fool really is a ride or die for me. Oh my god. Then there is nothing left to discuss. Oh my god, yeah, see. Come north first, enjoy dealing with them. Mmm. Whatever is left of you. Alright. See, I see. I knew some bullshit like this was gonna happen, dude. It's like Cersei was never gonna, unless she got her exact way. She was never gonna agree to it. Well, we tried, guys. She hadn't done that. At least they didn't try and kill us. 
I'm grateful for your loyalty. But my dragon died so that we could be here. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. And she died for nothing. I know. What? But what was I supposed to do, Daenerys? Need to our queen. I would have advised it had you asked. But have you ever considered learning how to lie every now and then? But he can't. No, he can't. He can't. I'm not going to swear an oath I can't uphold. Yeah. Talk about my father if you want. Tell me that's the attitude that got him killed. But when enough mm -hmm. people make false promises, words stop meaning anything. Mm -hmm. Then there are no more answers, only better and better lies. That is indeed a problem. The more immediate problem is that we're fucked. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit of a yeah. John probably should have lied, but he has that honor gene. Am I going to talk to my sister? No. I didn't come all this way to have my hand murdered. I don't yeah. Murder me either. I could have stayed in my cell and saved a great deal of trouble. I did this. I'll go talk I'll to her. She'll definitely murder you. <laughs> go see my sister alone. We all go home. And we're right back where we started. <sighs> Better not fucking die. Better not die. Okay, okay. I get John not lying to her about that, but like, you know. Okay, in this situation, he probably should have. Because think about it. If he was like, you know, I won't choose a side. I'll stay out of this. Just help us defeat the Night King. Whatever, we defeat the Night King. So, but Cersei was trying to basically guarantee that Jon stays out of this even after we fight the Night King, just because she knows she's, probably, she's fucked if the North is in this war. So, I I mean, like, yeah, tr just trying to trying to justify it, Jon should have agreed and then fought her anyway after with Daenerys because he was going to do that anyway if you want to try and justify it. But like, yeah, I get why. I still get why John didn't lie. So. I suppose we should say goodbye, one Ooh. idiot to another. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Tyrion has some balls for doing this. I didn't know that. And now you've got both working towards the same goal, mm. the goal you've worked towards your entire life. Cersei, I didn't the know. The destruction of this family. But she wanted to bring you fire and blood until I advised her otherwise. I don't want to destroy our family. I never have. Killed our father. After he sentenced me to death for a crime I didn't commit. Yet. Hate me for it if you want. I hate myself for it, in spite of what he was, in spite of what he did to me. Oh. If Papa was mean to you. Group, he was gonna have me killed. Bo, you left us open. You laid us bare for the vultures, and the vultures came and tore us apart. Shut up. You were fine. But you killed Marcella, you killed Tommen. No one would have touched them. Bro, you killed Tommen. What the fuck are you talking about? Tommen killed himself because of what you did, dog. You love your family, and I have destroyed it. I will always be a threat. So put an end to me. No. Mm. No, no, just, stop looking at him. Stop, stop looking at him. If it weren't for me, you'd have a mother. If it weren't Oof. for me, you'd have a father. He's, he's baiting her up. Beautiful children. The fact that he wants her to do it, wants her, she's not, she won't do it. Do it! Say the word. Mm. She, won't, she won't do it. Yeah, pussy. As much as Cersei hates him, still her brother. No, I don't care. I love them. You know I did. I don't care why you did what you did. I only care what it cost us. But then why are we here? Why did you allow me to come? Not to help my enemies collaborate in my destruction. Yes, no, not what you hoped for, but you must have hoped for something. For John. But eventually you want everyone to bend the knee to her. Yes. Why? Because I believe in her. She will make the world a better place. You said mm -hmm. she'd destroy King's Landing. She she would. Doesn't mean she will. She chose an advisor who would check her worst impulses instead of feeding them. The impulses. I don't care about making the world a better place. Hang the world. Mm. That thing. What was that? 
Maybe your own great joy had the right idea. Get on a boat. Take those who matter. You're pregnant. That's what I, okay. I thought about that too. I was gonna wait for her to stop talking so I could like say that. No one's less happy about this than I am. I know. I respect what you did. Mm-hmm. Because you haven't done it, but I respect it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what would you have done if I, you know, I was like, yeah, Cersei, I agree. What would you have done in the middle of that? Would you have known him captain or what? I don't, I don't know what that means. A dragon is not a slave. That's what Viserys said in House of the Dragon. And we locked them in here. Mm hmm And we grew small as well. We weren't extraordinary without them. We were just like everyone else. You're not like everyone else. And your family hasn't seen its end. Never. You're still here. Mm hmm I can't have children. But I can. The witch who murdered my husband. Yeah, well, you that... Been, you might not have been a reliable source of information. Yeah, we should go test this right now. If I trusted you, everything would be different. Mm hmm Yeah. So what now? I can't forget what I saw north of the wall. And I can't pretend that Cersei won't take back half the country the moment I march north. It appears Tyrion's assessment was correct. So what if we didn't get an answer? Mmm. -hmm. He's coming back. My armies will not stand down. I will not pull them back to the capital. Don't. Why'd you I come back? The north to fight alongside you in the Great War. Let's go. You don't have to say it like that, though. We'll face it together. Okay. Okay. When the Great War is over. Then we can kill each other. But I chose to help. Mm. No promises or assurances from any of you. <laughs> She says that with such a fucking attitude. The way she said that. That's so funny. The way she the way she said that was so funny. She's like, you better fucking not you better not fucking dick me. You better not fucking bend me over and kill me once it's all done, you know? <laughs> this is his writing, his signature. He pledged mm. to fight for Daenerys Targaryen. Yeah. He bent the knee. It's the dragon queen. It's quite beautiful. She is. Yeah, kind of a role then, but. Don is young and unmarried. Oh, okay. Daenerys is young and unmarried. Just two horny teenagers. An alliance makes sense. Mm -hmm. Together they'd be difficult to defeat. He was named king in the north. He can't be unnamed. Hmm. Even if I wanted to, Arya would never go along. Yeah, yeah fuck. And far more than she ever loved me, and she kill anyone who betrayed her family. Yeah. Would I you really murder our own sister? Yeah, probably. In this case, yeah, she's an assassin. When I try to understand a person's motives, I play a little game. Mm. I assume the worst. He said this before, I know he has. Then I ask myself, mm. how well does that reason explain what they say and what they do? Smart, but he's trying to get he, he's trying to get Sansa to think of the worst possible thing. I thought me dead because she thinks I wronged my family. Why did you come to Winterfell? Kill me. No, it's because Hop mm -hmm. Hop Pie told. <sighs> God damn it, Peter! To provide proof of my betrayals. God damn it, Peter! To provide justification. <laughs> After she murders me. Yep. <laughs> what does she become? Mm, a warroness of the north, right? Lady of Winterfell. Yep. Dude, fuck, fucking A, Baelish. Playing Sansa is so hard still. <laughs> so now what? Sansa gonna try and like kill Arya before she could, bro. You know, before she could kill Sansa, you know, because Sansa thinks that. 
God damn it, Peter. This motherfucker's playing chess. He's playing 4D chess right now, dude. John, could I speak with you? What you did in King's Landing. What you said. Could have lied to Cersei. But, but you didn't. About bending the knee to Daenerys. You risked everything to tell an enemy the truth. Mm hmm. I respect that. We went down there to make peace. And it seems to me. We need to be honest with each other if we're going to fight together. You've always known what was right. Even when we were all young and stupid, yep. you always knew. It's always the right step. It's not. No. It may seem that way from the outside, but... I promise you, it's not true. I've done plenty of things that I regret. Not compared to me, you haven't. No. Uh, yeah, that might be true. Not compared to you. Oof. I always wanted to do the right thing. Be the right kind of person. Now I can learn through you. Like there was an impossible choice I had to make. Stark or Greyjoy. Our father was more of a father to you than yours ever was. He was. And you betrayed him. Yeah. Yeah. He's a part of you. But what I can forgive, I do. You don't need to choose. You're a great joy. And you're a star. Yeah. When I was Ramsay's prisoner, Yara tried to save me. She's the only one who tried to save me. She needs me now. Yes. So why are you still talking to me? Oof. Go get her. But don't die, please. Damn, alright, that was a that was a great conversation right there. I feel like that made Theon feel a lot better. You know, he just wants the forgiveness for doing what he did. Cause you know. All of us chose to follow Yara. Would never leave one of us behind. Even if Euron hasn't cut her throat yet, she's dead. She's our queen. Yeah. She's your sister, and you left her to die. Look. The odds of saving her are extremely low. I was a coward. Should we listen to you? <laughs> Island, kill all the men and take their wives for ourselves. We're done with all that. Who says we are? Yara did. She made a pledge. We're going to set her free. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god Theon. Run away, little Theon. It's what you do best. <laughs> oh, dude! Oh my God! Ah, oh. dude! I can't watch this. I can't watch this, dude. Dude, what if he kills him right now, dude? No, okay, okay, stop, stop. Or I'll kill you. Ugh. No, Theon. No. I said stay down. Or I'll kill you. No. Uh. He's trying to be brave, but it's like, Theon, you need to be brave and smart. Dude, don't fucking kill him. Don't fucking. <sighs> oh, just hit him. Oh, he doesn't have a dick, so, okay. That's all right. They're cut off. Oh, shit. Okay. 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 Damn. I mean, is everyone really here really going to think like, oh, he didn't he didn't give up. We respect them. Like, he got his fucking ass beat, but he didn't give up and he won, I guess. Not for me. For Yara. All right. I mean, shit, I guess, I guess. I guess that shit works. Alright. <sighs> Bro, he's so gonna die trying to save Yara. 100%. Have my sister brought to the Great Hall. <laughs> Baelish. Are you sure you want to do this? Oh, Alright, how could you possibly get out of the situation? It's not what I want. It's what honor demands. Ooh. Hard. Oh, did I defend my family from those who would harm us? Oh, did I defend dude. the north from those who would betray us? 
It worked. Milos, he did it. You stand accused of murder. You stand accused of treason. How do you answer these charges? Lord Baelish. Oh, wait, what? He looks confused as fuck. To ask you a question. Wait, what? Wait, what? What? Lady Sansa, forgive me. I'm a bit confused. Yeah. Charges confuse you. Oh no. You murdered our aunt, Lysa Aaron. Ah! Uh, you through the moon door and watched her fall. Do you deny it? Ah! Uh, uh, can you prove it? To protect you. You did uh, it to take power in the veil. Yeah. Earlier, you conspired to murder John Aaron. You gave yeah. Lysa tears of lease to poison him. Do you deny it? Aunt Lysa sent a letter to our parents telling them it was the Lannisters who murdered John Arryn when really it was you. The mm -hmm. between the Starks and the Lannisters, it was you who started it. Do you yeah. 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 See Lannister and Joffrey Baratheon to betray our father, Ned Stark. He was imprisoned and later executed on false charges of treason. Do mm -hmm. you deny it? I deny it. None of you were there to see what happened. Yeah, how, how is that? You held a knife to his throat. Oh, I, yeah, you did. Yeah, Bran can fucking see it. Oh so my. I did warn you not to trust me. Yeah, that's right. Bran can see it all. You told our mother this knife belonged to Tyrion Lannister. Ah, uh, yep. Season one shit. It was yours. Damn. I knew since you were a girl, I've protected you. Protected me? Yeah. You're selling me to the Boltons. Yeah. What kind of fool would use his own dagger to assassinate someone? That's what Tyrion said, season one. Sometimes when I'm trying to understand a person's motives, I play a little game. <laughs> I assume the world. <laughs> like that, look at his face. His face is so dis. That was a face of pure disappointment. Dog. I really. Okay, okay. I, I love this. But I really don't want him to die. I really don't want him to die. But I learn. Give me a chance mm -hmm. to defend myself. I deserve that. Yeah. Dude, do not kill Baelish. Do not kill him, please. I am Lord Protector of the Vale, and I command you to escort me safely back to the Eyrie. I think mm. not. No! Yeah, because that fool, that fool knows. <laughs> I beg you. No! No, I, I loved your mother since the time I was a boy. And no, I, he betrayed I, her. I can't see Baelish like this. I can't. I can't watch him. No, yeah. I can't. I can't look at him. I can't look at him like this. More than anyone. No, I can't. And yet he betrayed me. When you brought me back mm. to Winterfell, you told me there's no justice in the world, not unless we make it. Thank you for all your many lessons, Lord Baelish. No. I will never forget them. No, dude, do not kill it. No, 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 I can't watch this. I can't look, I can't look. <gasps> wow. 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 Damn. Wow. Dude, as much as Lord Baelish was goaded. He was goaded. I'm that's all that's all I'll say for now. Preparing the expedition north. I always knew you were the stupidest Lannister. The Starks and Targaryens have united against us. So we want to fight alongside them. Yeah. I'm a traitor or an idiot. Yeah, fuck it. Fucking knew it. I'll say whatever I need to say to ensure the survival of our house. No honor. No honor. I fucking knew it, though. With your own eyes, you saw a dead man trying to kill us. She doesn't care. If dragons can't stop them. If Dothraki and Unsullied and Northmen can't stop them, how will our armies make a difference? Mm. It's not about no. It's not. Okay, look. Look, we'll, we'll be honest. We don't really need your army. We just need you to fuck off while we fight them. That's literally all we need. Okay? Okay, you stay here and we'll go fight them. That's all we need. We just need you to time out. That's it. I mean, your army would definitely help. 
but I'm sure we could. I'm pretty confident we could do it without them. But we just don't trust that you'll stay put while we go and do that. And while they battle in the north. Oh my god. Take back the lands that belong to us. And then what? That's what Baylor told her a couple seasons ago. Like season six. If the dead win, they march south and kill us all. Yeah, you're risking a lot. Win, and we've betrayed them. They march south and kill us all. Yeah, we die either way. Already want to kill us all. Most of them will die in the I face them in the field. We can't beat them. We can't beat their dragons. How many dead? Mm -hmm. Two. What happened to the three? Oh no. For all we know, it's guarding a fleet. Yeah. She came here with her dragons and her dolphin. She came here to show us all her power. Something happened. The dragons are vulnerable. We can't think better. We have the iron bank. Oh my god. Gold does not win wars. Soldiers do. The importance of gold. Oh, I know it's boring. Okay, well then why was Robert on then why was Robert on the throne and not Tywin? Mm. But th that was a good ob observation by Cersei about the dragon, you know. Essa's going to help us. Do you really think you're on Greyjoy turn tail and sail back to the Iron Islands? <laughs> Did he not? The chance to marry the queen. <laughs> no one walks away from me. Oh my God! So egotistical. He's sailing with his fleet to Essos. He's going to ferry the Golden Company back here to help us win the war for Westeros. Plotted with you and Greyjoy, but oh. not telling me the command of your armies. Mm. And you conspired with Tyrion. Wow. Cersei... Cersei's such a bitch. I pledged to ride north. I intend to honor that pledge. And that will be... Mm-hmm. Oh, Jamie. Trees. Disobeying your queen's command, fighting with her enemies. What would you call it? Call it honor. Doesn't matter what I'd call it. Mm. <gasps> oh no 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 no! Fuck no! I told you no one walks away from me. Fuck you! No no no! You do not kill Jamie. You didn't mean to kill me. I'm the only one you have left. Uh. Our children are gone. Our father is gone. It's just me and you now. She, I. She she's doesn't pregnant. care. Mm, yeah, she's pregnant. But mm. do not kill Jamie. I will be so fucking pissed if Jamie dies. Like this. She wanna do it? <gasps> I don't believe you. Okay. Okay. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, I was about to cause dude, oh my god, do you I would have been so pissed if Baelish and Jamie died back to in back to back scenes. Oh my god! I I I would have died if that happened. I literally would have died. What the fuck? Okay, for real though. Pretend Jamie has his hand still. Okay, who wins, Jamie or the Mountain? Because we know the Mountain's beatable as long as you're not cocky. If Oberyn could beat the mountain, you know, without, you know, then I think Jamie definitely could have if he had his hand. You know, Jamie wouldn't have been stupid enough to be cocky, all cocky about it, though. Okay, the only reason why, like, I thought Jamie was for real about to die is because she did, like, give a subtle nod. So then the mountain, like, you know, he pulled a sword, but then, like, I guess you had to give him another command to, like, actually do it. So I was like, okay, okay. <sighs> Damn. Some nice scenery. Winter's reaching King's Landing. That's what it looked like. I think the snow's reaching the south, King's Landing. Samuel Tarly. Mm. I wasn't sure if you'd remember me. Sam! What happened to you beyond the wall? I became the Three-Eyed Raven. <laughs> she, dropped a, she dropped a nuke on Sam. I don't know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> I can see things that happened in the past. I can see things happening now. John's the one to lead the fight against the dead. I know he is. I've come here to help him. Mm -hmm. He's on his way back to Winterfell. Yep. With Daenerys, Targaryen. He saw this in, in a vision. <laughs> yeah, I just got written. <laughs> he needs to know the truth. Mm -hmm. Truth about what? Mm. Mm. Yep. No one knows. No one but me. John isn't really my father's son. 
He's the son of Rhaegar Targaryen and my aunt Lyanna Stark. Mm, I knew him! I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. Dornish bastards are named San. At the Citadel, mm. I transcribed a High Septon's diary. He annulled Rhaegar's marriage to Elia. He wed Rhaegar and Lyanna in a secret ceremony. Are you certain? It's what the High Septon wrote in his private diary. Is this something you can see? Hmm, that would be for you. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, what does Rhaegar look like? I am hers, and she is mine. Oh. In this day, until the end of my days. Robert's rebellion was built on a lie. Mm-hmm. Rhaegar didn't kidnap my aunt or rape her. Oh no, is he about to smash Daenerys? Oh no. Oh, they're smashing. They're smashing. Oh, mm. Tyrion. John's real name. Hmm, his real name. His name is Egon Targaryen. Oh, fuck. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, I didn't know that. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> Targaryen tradition. He's never been a bastard. He's the heir to the Iron Throne. Yep. Oh, uh, he he'll he'll give it to Daenerys. He doesn't go a fuck. Like once he finds out, he'll be like, yeah, she can have it. I don't care. Hey, What's Tyrion all heard about this? Did he like Daenerys like that? I mean, kind of. Eh, he might have. Like, yeah. I can see it. Oh, fuck yeah, we need someone. In his own horrible way, I believe he loved me. Yeah. I'm just the executioner. You pass the sentence. Hmm. Hey, the one who passes the sentence should swing the sword, right? Like what Ned said, but hey, it doesn't matter, whatever. I never could have survived what you survived. You would. Mm. You're the strongest person I know. I believe that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> Man, I just see all the white fucking white whites and the white walkers in the back right there. That'd be terrifying. Nah. Like somehow they got past the wall. <laughs> Once he's seen. Oh no. Oh, it's the edge of the wall. No, he's gonna see he's gonna see all of them right here, dog. <gasps> oh he's here! He's here! Oh no. Oh no. They're. Fuck. I mean, yeah, it's about time. I. Hey, dude, this wall's. I mean, uh. They get, they get through that gate, we're fucked, but like, uh. <laughs> and the two giants? That's so tough. Oh my god. Oh my god. And the dragon, that's that's right. <gasps> oh no. Oh, the fire looked weird as hell. I'm assuming it's still fire, but... Oh, the motherfucker's on it. Bro, what do we do? Oh, they're just gonna destroy the wall, sick. <laughs> Yeah, fuck even trying to fight through this wall. We're just gonna have this dragon destroy it, yeah. Oh. Dude. Does this mean everyone in the Night's Watch is just dead? Yeah, so much for the fucking wall, all right. That dra dragon took out that wall in like, what, less than a minute? <laughs> Alright, well that was Season 7, Episode 7. Season 7 Finale. Alright, well, I think it's pretty safe to assume that... <laughs> everyone in the Night's Watch is just dead now. That means Tormund's dead. That means Beric's dead. That means Ed is dead? No! 
Yeah, I think everyone at the wall is dead. God damn it. God. God damn it, dude. R.I.P. Torment, then. R.I.P. Barrick. R.I.P. Ed. You know, that's really shitty, honestly, if they're dead. That's really fucking shitty. Because, like, you didn't specifically see any of them die, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty safe to assume that they're just... So, like, it, it hurts, but it doesn't hurt as much as, like, seeing them, like, get stabbed or whatever, get their head cut off, or, like, them just on dying like on screen you know i mean shit like they could be alive they could survive you know like the next season could start with them like getting out of the rubble but i highly fucking doubt that if it is great if it's not not surprised you know once i okay once i saw them pull up to the wall i was like okay okay we're okay i assumed like okay the episode will probably just like stop here and then next season will pick up we're gonna have like this big battle of them getting through the wall and everything but nope the dragon just comes through and just i can i'll be honest i forgot about that dragon and then i heard it i was like oh wait no and then like the, my immediate second thought was, oh, okay, it's gonna fly over the wall and just fuck up everyone on the other side. And then they're just gonna get through the gate. Well, like the giant's just gonna rip the gate through and they're just gonna go through. And then I was like, well, that would take a while for them to all get through that gate because like that, it's a big gate, but it's pretty small for all of them, you know? But no, that dragon just ripped that wall in half. All right, sick, I love that. I love that for the Night King. I love that for the Night King. Don't get me wrong. I really do. But I, I hate that for us. I really hate that for us. So, fuck. <laughs> Here, here's what I'm thinking now, all right? So, based off, like, the stories that the, um, the Macers have said, it's like, dude, the wall has always held up. The wall has never failed. Like, thousands of years ago, they, like, they've never gone past the wall, right? <sighs> You know what I feel like the difference is? You know what I feel like the biggest difference is? I feel like the whenever the last time the um, the white the white walkers and the whites tried to get past the wall, I feel like the difference is they didn't have a goddamn dragon. Okay, I feel like the Targaryens back then didn't fuck that one up when they did have dragons and they had all the white you know back then. They didn't let a dragon get killed by one of the white walkers i feel like that's the difference okay there there is a lot to talk about in this episode there is a lot to talk about okay so the big reveal that john is a targaryen was this episode okay okay well we did learn something new we did learn something that i didn't know is that his real name is aegon targaryen okay that's lit i love that name for him but you know you know what problem i'm kind of seeing right now with that so that means we have, we have Aegon the Conqueror, right? And then we have Aegon, who's Alicent Hightower's kid and Viserys Targaryen's kid, right? And then we have Jon now, AKA Aegon Targaryen. So we have three Aegon Targaryens, okay? That's not gonna be confusing at all. <laughs> like, yeah, whenever they just say Aegon, I'm gonna know exactly who they're talking about, yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, no, obviously for the rest of Game of Thrones, that probably won't be an issue. I mean, it won't be an issue going forward, at least in the show, because if they mention an Aegon Targaryen, we're gonna know the context that it is drawn in this, you know? So, okay, okay, just to clarify some shit, right? Just to clarify s some stuff. No, no, okay, so we have Aegon the Conqueror, who's the first one, right? Then we have Aegon the second, Alicent's kid, and then now we have John, right? Um, when I, okay, I assume in the, within this show, whenever they talked about Aegon, like, okay, so, you know, most of the time they would say Aegon the Conqueror, so it's like, okay, I know which Aegon they're talking about. But sometimes they would just say Aegon, and like, I'm, I would just assume it was about the Aegon the Conqueror and never about Alicent's, ever Alicent's kid Aegon, because, just because the House of the Dragon came out after this. I know the books were probably out at the same time. They could have been, I don't know. Sometimes it kind of sounded like they were talking about Allison's kid, though, and like, I mean, it doesn't really matter now, but like, please let me know if they ever, if they ever referred to Allison's kid in, within the Game of Thrones show, because I feel like that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, um, the rest of this episode, so basically we all came, to, we all came to King's Landing to try and make this truce with Cersei, and she, of course, she just wants to be complicated. She just wants to complicate things, you know. That's just. 
She wants to stir the pot. She wants to spice things up, make them fun, make them interesting. Nothing can ever just be simple with her, all right? She denied it the first time, then Tyrion went to go and talk to her and everything. And she, I guess she agreed with Tyrion, she agreed with Tyrion, you know. And then we're like, okay, cool, we're chilling, right? They all left, thinking that we had a truce with her. And then she was like, psych? You know, and then she told Jamie everything and I, ah, God. I mean, Jamie, Jamie brought up was a valid fucking point of like, look, if the dead win, cool, they'll cut, they'll march down to the south and kill us. If the living lit, if the living wins, cool, they'll march down to the south and kill us. Jamie, Jamie knows he's going to die regardless in this situation. So he's like, you know what, Cersei? See ya. I'm an honorable man now. I'm keeping them my promise that I made to them for helping them. All right, so he dipped out on her. Well, she like, she could have had him killed, but nope, nope. She hesitated. She couldn't do it. I'm happy she didn't do it though, because I would have been really fucking pissed if Jamie died. I would be so mad if he died right there. <clears throat> Probably got one of the one of the worst deaths in the show. Not, not like that's bad or anything, but like just like shocking wise, you know, like oh, like the, it hurts wise, you know, like it, it's it hurts, you know, which is Baelish. I know, like I shouldn't be like hurt about this. Like I should probably be cheering if anything, but he was a damn good character, dog. He was a damn good character. <sighs> I loved him so much, but I guess he really wasn't playing chess right there. I guess, I mean, he was playing chess, but Arya, Arya beat him. Well, not even, no, not really. So, bro, we had Bran. Bran could see everything. He saw everything that happened in the past. So that's how we all confirmed, that's how we confirmed everything, that he crossed us and shit. Without Bran being there and seeing everything and telling them, then Baelish would have mm, got him. So. That makes me wonder now, when did Arya and Sansa like realize, oh, because I mean, it didn't, it didn't show in this episode, it's just so they could shock, you know, give us that shock factor of like, Sansa's like, you know, sentencing Arya to die, and then she points out Lord Baelish or whatever, you know, but like, when did they like, figure it out, be like, oh shit, no, Baelish is actually the one, you know, like, did Arya know the entire time? Because I mean, like, when, okay, when Arya, in the episode where Arya went into his room and found the note, I had, a, I was guessing that Arya knew that he wanted her to find it. So she was a step ahead of him in reality. And I mean, it wasn't really the case. It didn't seem like cause she pressed Sansa about it. You know, I'm assuming like after that scene where, San where Arya pressed Sansa about it, that's probably off screen. That's probably when they talked about it and figured everything out. Sansa probably realized Baelish was plotting against them right after the note. Right after they had that argument, because Arya probably told Sansa that she got the note from Baelish's room in the first place, so the boom, dead giveaway. You know, and then they probably talked to Bran, and then Bran went, like, you know, went Doctor Strange really quick, and then he could tell him what happened. You know, like the like the thing, the part where he was like holding the knife up to Ned's neck, he had to go back in time to see that, so something like that. And like, oh yeah, in this episode when Sansa was talking to Baelish about like. Oh, what should I do with Arya and stuff? And he's like, I like to play a little game. When he told her that, I'm assuming Sansa like, already kind of knew and everything like that. And then like her playing that game with him just kind of confirmed it all. It, like made sure I confirm it all in her head. So something like that. But yeah, R.I.P. Baylor's dog. He was goaded. Uh, if I had to rank him, for me, I, I don't know exactly where, like what number he would be if I had to rank him. I would say he's in top 10 for sure, easily top 10. But if I had to give him like a tier list, I, he's okay. In my opinion, he's definitely an S tier character, 100% an S tier character. I just don't know exactly like the number I'd put him at. So I hope that makes sense. And Baelish is an S tier character just personally for me, because think about it. He literally started all this shit. Without him, there would be no Game of Thrones. There wouldn't have been. He's the one who killed John Aaron. Well, he didn't do it himself, but he was a part of it. He was a huge part in killing John Aaron. And that's the whole reason why Ned went to King's Landing in the first place, right? Because John Aaron was the hand of the king, then he died, and then Ned had to come. And then Ned started investigating everything, and then boom. Motherfucker. Motherfucker started the entire show. 
He's the GOAT. <laughs> yeah, RIP Littlefinger. He played himself. Congratulations, you played yourself. <sighs> that hurts, that one hurts. But like, I feel for Theon, dude, so bad because you know, that scene with Jon and everything, like he wants to be a better man. He wants to be a better man, <laughs> but it, I respect it. I, Theon, like, at first, I felt neutral about him, and then I didn't really like him, and then I, I felt bad for him, and then I started to worry about him, and then I started to root for him, so like, that um, that roller coaster with Theon, bro, oh my god. I, I hope he gets Yara, I'm rooting for him, I'm rooting for him to get Yara, I 100% am. Not gonna lie, Baelish, when Baelish was like begging for his life, that was hard to watch, dude, that was so hard to watch. Uh, I mean... In the context of like how many people died because of him and he felt nothing for them not really but then again it was still hard to watch if you know you know what i mean but yeah okay honestly what okay what do i think of season seven i think see i think season seven was lit you know i think it was really fucking good like to all the people who kind of said like season seven it's i i mean I enjoyed it a lot, just because I, I can see the difference between this season and like the past seasons. Definitely, I can see the differences. But at the same time, I feel, dude, like this season seven feels exactly like what this show has been building towards. No, season seven is the payoff that this show has been building towards. Not a hundred percent yet. But I feel like this season made a lot of progress in what it has, what it's been building towards, you know. Because you know, up until season seven, it's like, yeah, they're on their way. They're on their way. They're on the night. The Night King is on his way, you know. And like, they finally got past the wall at the end of season seven. And so it, it's just this season was really satisfying because we finally got we got a lot closer to what the show has been building towards. Wait, thinking about it, actually, thinking about it. Okay, is it just me, or the time it takes for everyone to travel to every single place relative to how far away the Night King was to the wall? I feel like the Night King should have got to the wall a lot faster, considering how fast everyone was traveling everywhere. You know? And at the same time, they're walking like two miles per hour. But they, they, like, I don't know. It didn't seem like they were that far away from the wall. You know? So, but yeah, season seven, I enjoyed it a lot. And, like, the difference between this season and the past seasons, I feel like, is the past seasons were more about the scheming and everything. And, like, the Game of Thrones, how everyone was scheming against each other. And this season was just more, like, way more action-packed. <clears throat> Which, personally, I don't really mind. I like it, I still enjoyed it a lot. I do see why some people probably didn't enjoy it as much, but personally, I didn't enjoy it. The only thing like I don't really like is how there's less episodes. But, like I get they're just trying, like the writers are just trying to get from point A to point B as quickly as possible. But I feel like they could have stretched some things out, you know, made it a little bit longer, build up the, the suspense a bit. I, I would have watched it regardless. I'm sure a lot of you would have watched it regardless too. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I did read a comment saying like, the writers kind of had to wrap up the show because they were gonna go work on some other projects or something like that, so that sucks. And they didn't want anyone else to take over the show while they were working on other projects, so they kind of just speed wrote the last two seasons like that, that kind of sucks, that sucks. Like yeah, the season was a bit predictable in some points, in some cases, you know? But like, but honestly, it's kind of whatever. You know, but yeah, I'm gonna stop wasting time. That was Game of Thrones season seven, episode seven finale. Comment down below what you thought about this episode and the season down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.